Okay. Uh, so, internet's really crappy, but if you can, try going to uh, that URL there. Um, so this is, um, I'm a Plume person, but uh, since it's a Python conference as well, this is a pure Python talk. Uh, what is it about? It, it's about real-time web, um, web sockets. So this is what it looks like. This is currently four online. Maybe some more people will join in a minute. And you'll see the locations. If you tilt, it does orientation sensing, and it'll spin it around. Uh, so how do you build something like this in Python? It's pretty damn easy. Um, and this was originally part of a talk called Node Schmode, all about, well, dis, uh, uh, going past the hype of you don't need something like Node to do real-time web stuff. So WebSockets. WebSockets are a bidirectional pipe that runs in the browser. That's pretty much it. Problem with WebSockets is it's not well supported. SockJS is an awesome library that implements the socket, uh, the WebSocket uh, API, but using some hacks to get round dodgy proxies and inability to support uh, actual WebSockets. Um, for instance, I was noticing before that uh, the, the uh, proxies here were blocking it and WebSockets weren't connecting. So. Now I'm using Pyramid. I tried originally to do this in Tornado. Uh, didn't work out so well. One of the things Tornado does is it wouldn't let me run my web sockets on the same port as my Whiskey app. That kind of sucks. Uh, Pyramid SockJS, really nice implementation. So what does the code look like? Uh, so JavaScript code to do with, most of that's to do with moving stuff around, but the back end, the Python bit, I don't know if you can see that all right. You have this uh, session object. So the session object is a class that gets created. So in, so here we have a configuration and we've got this add sockjs root here. So we're saying the session is the map. Then we've got a bunch of uh, different, so on open, socket gets opened on message. And this is a persistent object that'll get created and run during the whole thing. Um, now, to run this really fast, this whole sort of asynchronous I.O. thing, if anyone's kind of looked at that, well, what we're doing here is using gevent. Gevent's a really nice way of doing a asynchronous I.O. Asynchronous I.O. basically just means that what you're trying to do is not use lots and lots of threads, because when you go up to, say, holding uh, 10,000 sockets, uh, the thread overhead becomes really, really heavy. Um, you can get around this using asynchronous I.O. by basically doing your own scheduling in your own language, and that's what Node.js does, because they don't have threads anyway. They don't have a choice, but in Python we do. But in order to get to that, what they call the 10K problem, G-Event's a really nice way of doing it. Um, and one of the nice things here is that I'm using build-out. Um, so build-out will build all the different bits and pieces for me. Um, so it will custom compile G-Event with the libev, which is the library it uses for asynchronous I.O. Uh, it will create my configuration for me. And then on top of that, I'm using hostout, which is an extra plugin uh, on top of buildout that I created, and that allows me to deploy the app. So uh, I hadn't touched this thing for two years. Um, I reran buildout, and I did a hostout deploy. And that will go and deploy all the code. It wraps up the eggs, any custom changes, sends it to the server. And in fact, this one is connected to a plugin uh, called uh, hostout.cloud. And that will actually create the server for me um, on the fly from, I think this is on Rackspace. Um, so yeah, you can think of hostout like a remote control for build out. Uh, we use it for all our deployments. Um, so I got one minute left. What else do I want to say? Uh, yeah, so build out, host out, that was it. How many people are on here now? So it'd be really cool if you, does any of the tilting work for this? Does anyone, I can't see if anyone's tilting. It'd be really cool to do like a Mexican wave if everyone tilted their phones this way and then tilted their phones that way. But, um, maybe give this a go during the party. We can see everyone sort of congregating on the party tonight if, you're, uh, if you've got a SIM card. Anyway, thank you.